Hello everybody, in this Rhino basic surface creation tutorial, I would like to talk about the revolve command. Okay, let's start. The surface creation toolbars are parked within this um, icon, so you can press and hold and pull out to show the surface creation tools. Okay, the revolve is uh, this command over here. So um, let me show you a demonstration of this uh, command. Basically, what this command does is that it will create a surface by revolving a curve or a set of curves about a center axis. Okay, so now I've created my my curve. So uh, let us click on the command. So it asks select curves to revolve so this is the curve to revolve press enter then you ask for the start of a revolve axis okay so i want the start to be this corner and then i want the other point to be anywhere along this axis so what i can do is i press and hold the shift key to turn on the auto mode and click anywhere along to, to uh, determine the end of the axis okay so after that, you can see that uh, the command prompts you for the start angle. So uh, let's leave the start angle at zero. And you can also see that uh, there are other options uh, being displayed. For the time being, we'll just leave the options as their default values. So I can press enter. Then you ask for the revolution angle. As I want to do a full spin, I can uh, type 360 at the prompt. Okay, enter. And you can see I have created a revolve uh, surface in the process. Okay, so it's uh, quite an easy uh, command to do. Basically, what it does is that as you can see, we got this cross section. It creates a surface or object by revolving a uh, cross section about a center axis. Okay, now uh, let's uh, visit the deformable option. <coughs> so uh, I'm going to repeat uh, the command again. So I'm going to click revolve, select curve to revolve, okay. And start of uh, revolve axis, uh, this the uh, start, okay. And going to the front view, I'm going to press and hold the shift key to, to establish the other end of the revolve axis okay so okay now <coughs> what I'm going to do is uh, toggle the deformable to yes I click on this and you can see that there are other options such as uh, point count which uh, <coughs> determines the number of rows of control points so uh, I'm going to change the point count to 12 so type 12 enter and enter so let's keep the revolution angle at 360 so I type enter again to complete the command so now what you have is a surface that if I want to turn on the control points uh, be able to see that it's uh, made out of uh, rows of equal, equally spaced uh, control points okay you can Manipulate the shape further by selecting the control points and adjusting their their position using the gumball. Okay, and you can even use the scale being widget on the gumball to make further uh, manipulation as I'm uh, doing it now. Okay, that's all for this video. See you around. Bye.